I'm with Peter Daffan of Photon Beard. Peter, what technology trends do you think you will be seeing at IBC this year? In, in the world of lighting, um, things don't move that, that fast. Uh, I mean, for example, we're still getting over the uh, move from gas lighting when the company was founded 134 years ago. <laughs> so uh, uh, we've seen trends come and go. Uh, the, the sort of latest wave that hit us was LED lighting a few years ago. Uh, and that's still really trying to bed down and, 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 and find its place in the market. There's still a lot of problems with a lot of LED. There's also a lot of good things happening with LED. LED is really starting to develop quite nicely now. So I'm not expecting any, um, any new trends at IBC, but I am expecting to see uh, things refined more, better quality LED. Um, but having said that, I still wouldn't rule out tungsten altogether. Um, I guess the thing about LED is that we're talking lower energy costs, lower running costs, cooler running. Is, is, is that what the advantage we're going to get? Yes, it is. That, that, that's, that's the driving force behind LED. Um, but what you lose with LED is, is tungsten was a very controllable source and the colour rendering index was very high because it's a true black body radiator, so you're getting all of the colours. Uh, and what's happening with, with tungsten, uh, not yet in our industry, but generally, there's a lot of research going on and already they've made tungsten 30% more efficient than it used to be. Still a long way behind LED, but, you know. So, as I say, I, I, I think tungsten isn't completely dead yet, and we're still seeing sales of tungsten lighting. But you're right, the, the sort of driving force behind LED is the, the, the low energy, low heat, uh, and, and to a certain extent, the, the, the things that you can do with LED that you can't do with, with tungsten lighting. And what are you focusing on on the Photon Beard booth? At IBC, I can give you a plug. It's 12.A41. Exactly. Um, last year, we launched our, our new um, LED soft light. Um, we were very late into the LED market, not because we weren't looking at things, but the technology wasn't right. Our, our main focus is on lighting people. Uh, and up until recently, LED wasn't very good at lighting people. Uh, the skin tones were pretty poor. A few years ago, uh, a technology came along called remote phosphor, um, where instead of having the, the, the phosphors embedded in the LED, you put the phosphors on a sheet and you have blue LEDs behind it. And so the sheet becomes your light source. And now because you're working on a much larger surface, you can get the repeatability and accuracy there. So our, our LED soft lights are remote phosphor. Um, and as I say, we launched them last year. They've proved incredibly successful. We've got some, uh, some major broadcasters that are using it. And, and what's really gratifying is um, the very early adopters of our lights have come back for repeat orders. So, you know, we've obviously got it right. Yeah. So at, at IBC, we're focusing on just making sure that everybody knows about those. That's, that's, that's interesting. You mentioned that the broadcasters are buying it, but I gather you've also had a major installation with somebody who definitely isn't a broadcaster at YouTube. Well, indeed. Um, and and uh, YouTube is a good example, because the other thing that we're going to um, be doing at IBC is bringing our sister company more into the foreground. We have a sister company called Projects Department Limited who design, they, they offer a consultancy service, design and installation of TV studios. And YouTube was, was a, 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 a YouTube London was um, initially a consultancy job that then turned into a design and install um, job. And there we, we, we completely designed and installed three studios plus the uh, community spaces with um, lighting grids, DMX systems, control systems and lights and that sort of thing. Oh, great, terrific. So you can provide the complete service around lighting, not just exactly. selling the, the, the luminaires. Exactly. Terrific. So, you know, good stuff on the booth. What else are you looking forward to at IBC this year? IBC is always a great time for us to meet um, not only new customers, uh, that's essential, of course, but it's also a great opportunity to meet a lot of our dealers from around the world. Having been around for as long as we have been, um, you know, we, we've got dealers almost in every country. I wouldn't quite say every country, but we've certainly sold product Hong Kong, to uh, the west coast of America and everywhere in between. Currently, we're, we're doing a lot in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, 
um, Ethiopia. I'm off there in a few weeks' time to hand over a studio that we supplied there. So IBC is a great opportunity. All, all of our dealers and, and customers from around the world tend to come to IBC, and it's a great chance just to say hello, say thank you, um, and, and renew ties. Terrific. Well, I look forward to seeing you in Amsterdam in September. Thanks, Peter. Thank you.